there is a strong level of masculine energy coming out here for you. We have three of the kings here. King of Cups, King of Wands, there's that determination, and King of Swords to the Ten of Swords. It's the emotional stability, it's the spiritual, creative, self-awareness ability, it's the clear and open mind. Seeing something as it truly is. No fluff, no frou-frou, no extra, no, no, no embellishment, nothing. Like clear, down to the point, down to the focus, what is the truth here? Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee, your collective tarot reading. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your day, for your moment. Why do I want to say for your year? Yikes, okay. We're going to sum up one whole year in a reading, huh? That's interesting. <laughs> Please keep in mind this is a general reading, guys, yeah? Uh, definitely make sure to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. A uh, big welcome to all the new subscribers that have recently joined the channel. You guys are fantastic. Welcome to the Unicorn Herd. Welcome to the the collective, the, the club, yeah? Uh, definitely make sure to leave your comments down in the comment section below. I love hearing from you guys. Um, let's have a conversation about things, yeah? Okay, uh, so timestamps can be found in the description box but also in the uh in the pinned comment below so if you want to skip story time or anything you're more than welcome to do so timestamps are right down there so you can get straight to the reading yeah but <clears throat> i want to talk to you guys for a second because i don't know i just i feel like i need to vent but like there's nothing really to say it's <laughs> it's just a matter of uh and i'm and it's like around 6.40, 6.30 in the morning for me right now. Um, I've been up since four, which is not a bad thing because I did, I went, I fell asleep pretty early. Like I fell asleep around 8.30 last night, which is great. Like I don't mind that at all, you know? And I'm actually very happy to get up early in the morning, like real early, ass crack of dawn. Cause like, I like to get up and like start my day and do things and like get my readings done early in the day so that I have the rest of the day to do whatever it else it is that I need to do. And so I woke up at four. Um, and I've just been up and, and I swear to you guys for the last two and a half hours It's just been like nothing but Frustration after frustration after frustration and I think I think it's mainly because like it got to the point where I sat down in front of my computer to look at like the chart for today see what I went, might have wanted to talk about during a daily dose section a session but I looked at the chart and quite frankly there are a lot of there's a lot happening there are a lot of aspects this week um, I'm thinking I want to, I should go through the situation and probably do a, a weekend dose for Patreon, but I swear, man, I sat down and I looked all of, I, I looked at the chart and I saw all those squares. There are quite a few squares happening, at least today, and I was like, <laughs> nope, not doing it. <laughs> no, we're not touching that right now. Like, I don't, I do not have the patience for that right now. And and then so I'm, I'm sitting here, I'm getting ready to do morning coffee, and I'm like, what the hell is going on? Like, what is this energy? And I was like, uh, maybe maybe it's because it's Friday. It's because it's Friday, right, you guys? It's And it's been a strong week, right? It has been. I mean, excuse me, energetically speaking, man, it has been a strong week. And rightfully so, you know, we did have the full moon yesterday. Cute sidebar, um, I was doing a bunch of chores this morning and I took out the garbage <clears throat> and the sun hadn't come up yet. It was still maybe like four something. The sun hadn't, hadn't started rising yet or at least you couldn't really see the light from the horizon yet. And I looked off to the opposite end and I saw the moon right there in its full glory. And I was like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank the heavens. It's, it was such a beautiful sight, but it has been a strong week. It's been a really strong week, and I'm so happy that the weekend is here. Um, uh, sidebar, I am doing, you know, your week ahead tomorrow, Saturday, sometime around 3 in the afternoon, p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I think that was a good time for us. If there's a better time, you guys have a suggestion, let me know in the comments down below, but I'm definitely looking to do that tomorrow. I'm actually very excited about it. Um, but, I mean, 
I'm so glad the week is over. <laughs> I'm so glad. And I don't want anyone to take that as like, ah, I, I don't want to read these energies for you. No, 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 no. I'm very happy to sit here and read these energies for you. Um, so like, don't take it that way. Please don't take it that way. It's just like, I'm just, I'm glad the week is over. It's just been, it's been a strong one, hasn't it guys? Like definitely, I mean, many of you have been already letting me know how the readings this week have been resonating with you, but like, if you feel like sharing, please share. I just please share. I love talking to you guys. So anyway, there's story time for you, I guess. Um, no real craziness. It's just and like not like nothing that I really want. To, I feel like I need to get into in detail. Like it really isn't that deep. Although I will say. I'm very proud of myself because normally, uh, you know, in the past, I would have let myself spiral into just this madness of just like, nah, but I'm, I, I, I kept it cool this morning. I was like, look, Eric, don't even worry about it. Keep your focus on what you need to do. Like, just, just keep it pushing, just keep it pushing. And so if you're feeling like that today or this weekend or like ever, no, please know that you are not alone. Okay. You're definitely not alone. <sighs> okay, so getting into today's session. Um, oh, last little tidbit that I want to share is uh, uh, I will be posting the last six readings for the monthlies today. Um, I'm going to finish the last three. I just have to record. I have to do uh, a, Aquar a Capricorn Aquarius and Pisces today. And then I'll get that record, I'll get that edited and uploaded and um, that should be, that should be up and posted for you guys to see by uh, late afternoon, maybe early evening tonight. Um, and Sagittarius, let me tell you, I did your reading yesterday and y'all made me cry again, but you made me cry in a really awesome way. Like I'm so... I, and I even I was even saying it during the reading. I am so excited for you guys to see that reading, Sag, because like y'all, like, talk about a fucking glow up, y'all. All right, so I'm really really excited for you guys to see that. But anyway, um, those should be posted by later today. And just a little no, you know what? Never mind. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> anyway. I might need more coffee. Let's get into this and see what we've got for the collective today. I'm going with the golden, no, this is not the golden universal tarot. This is the golden art nouveau tarot. Yeah, I'm going with this deck today. And we are keeping it cute with the clar clarity from the after tarot. And then we will cross the oracle bridge when we get there. Yeah. And then finally, I do, I kind of, I know some of you have seen this shirt already, but I want to share it with you. Look, it says, it says, it says, dude, did you eat the last unicorn? What? No. But then wait, there's more because at the very bottom of the shirt, which you can't see because it's the frame is cut off. Look, it's a, it's a, it's a horn with the rest of the rainbow colors. Thank you so much, Stella. Stella sent me this shirt. It's such a fantastic shirt. I love, I lo look, I'm a huge fan, huge fan of graphic tees, okay? So if y'all see a t-shirt that you think would be perfect for me, that you want me to wear or whatnot, whatever, and you wanna send, send it, let me know, send me an email, I'll get you the address. Cause I'm 34 years old and I, I am a huge fan of graphic t-shirts and graphic hoodies. Okay, and I am not ashamed of that. <laughs> I will not grow up, I refuse. Okay, kids. We're going to get into this and see what we have for the collective for today's session. Here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representation of the energies in terms of the situations, situationships, romances, relationships, circumstances, and places in which we all need it the most.
Thank you so very much, Spirit. Alrighty, you guys. I'm going to give this five shuffles and let's see what we have for you today. Yeah? One. This is two. Three. This is four. And this is five. Alrighty, y'all. Um, I was, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull, but I was guided to look at the bottom of the deck. Um, and we do have, <laughs> we have the chariot and underneath the chariot is the queen of pentacles. But I feel like this is the energy that really wanted to be seen the most. It's the queen of pentacles. All right. So there's def, ooh, and then the king of pentacles is right underneath her. Ooh. See, okay. I think. And, and for those of you that are fairly new to me here, um, a lot of the time, especially when it comes to morning coffee, at least these collective ener energy readings, a lot of the time um, I find a lot of value for myself in these readings as well. And I definitely feel like this energy here of the queen of the king and the queen of pentacles with the chariot also, there's definitely a level of energy or there's a vibration within the collective or maybe just our collective right now i don't know who cares but uh there's definitely an energy right now of standing firm in yourself holding your own knowing what it is to, who it is that you are knowing what who and what it is that you are after what it is you're providing what it is that you want and driving forward like really 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 driving forward and and it's this it's this rough and tumble earth pentacle physical solid energy that i feel like is probably generating or helping to generate a lot of the frustration if you're if you're experiencing that it, and maybe it maybe it isn't maybe we shouldn't even call it frustration maybe we should call it determination a determination to break through uh barriers a determination to break through blockages a determination to like cut out all of the shit that just gets in the way Okay, because there's a strong sense of drive here. There's a strong sense of determination, especially with the chariot at the bottom of the deck. All right. Woo. Okay. So, for the collective today, what's going on, please, spirit? What do you want to talk to? The, what do you want to speak to the collective about today? On this session, what's going on for the collective here? Ooh. What do you want to discuss with the collective today? Oh, damn. Oh, oh my goodness, you guys. Okay, okay, okay. At the bottom of the deck, you do have the Eight of Wands. Underneath the Eight of Wands is Temperance to the Nine of Cups, to the Three of Pentacles, to the Queen of Swords, to the World, to the Queen of Wands, and damn, and then to the Emperor. Okay. Yep, to the Emperor. Um... To the Emperor, to the Five of Cups, to the Lovers, to the Eight of Swords. So, uh, shh, bear with me, guys. This is a lot. But it's it's really, oops, it's really quite making a whole lot of sense. And, um, oh, shoot. I don't remember where this was. It doesn't matter. Uh, ultimately, at the uh, bottom of the deck, you do have the Eight of Wands, which is a very similar energy to the uh, to the Chariot that was underneath the deck right before I started this pull. And um, to me, this is the, the Eight of Wands is representing a level of determination. Um, but again, clearing the pathway, or I want I want to say because with what else has come out here, this is an energy of making sure that the pathway continues to stay clear, maintaining this clear trajectory for yourself, all right? And even though there may be some sense of sorrow here, I, I totally like screwed up the actual, <laughs> the actual um, order of this, but even though there may be a sense of sorrow here, 
with the Five of Cups, I really feel like, again, also coupled with the other cards that have come out here that we'll get into in a second, even though there may be a sense of sorrow here, there may be some things that you're leaving behind or there may be some a slight level of grieving that needs to happen or that is possible or that is appropriate or normal, I would, I would say normal, uh, it doesn't seem to be stopping you. It doesn't seem to be clouding your judgment. Um, I don't feel like you're really giving into too much of this yet or not yet uh, um, at all. And that's exactly what I was just saying, you know, what we were talking about in story time or whatnot. Um, there's a level of balance here. Okay, a level of optimism. I definitely want to say I did just hear optimism with uh, the temperance card here because instead of focusing on what it is that may have gone wrong or what it is that is going wrong or or seemingly going wrong or whatever it is you may seem to be facing the loss of, dealing with the loss of, instead of focusing on the loss aspect of the situation here, I, I feel like you're focusing on satisfaction, what it is you truly want. And you're really determined to focus on working and working on that and building that, okay? And not letting anything get in the way with the Queen of Swords. You're really focused on ending a certain cycle here with the world and the Queen of Wands. And then there's the Emperor to the lovers, okay? The Emperor energy is a very strong masculine energy. And there is a lot of masculine energy that has come out here just on the table alone. We're just still reading at the bottom of the deck, you guys, all right? But with the Emperor, in terms of the lovers here, in terms of whatever it is you're 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 moving away from, I guess we should say, there's a strong determination, strong, strong, strong determination to make to maintain the choice that you've made and the trajectory that you are moving in. The Eight of Wands energy is that clear open space, is that focus on your target, is that focus on your goal. And I feel like you are quite optimistic. I did just hear optimism. So there's a lot, strong level of optimism in terms of what it is you have chosen for yourself. But this isn't, this isn't just like any everyday run-of-the-mill choice. This is a choice to serve your highest good, okay? You've chosen virtue over vice in some way, whatever that virtue would be for you. And I don't mean virtue in the typical sense of like being some, literally being a virgin, virginal type energies or anything like that. I don't mean it in a biblical sense. I mean it in like what what resonates for you? What represents virtue in your life? What makes you feel victorious? What drives you? What what fuels your soul? What fills your soul with joy and happiness and love and laughter? That's the choice that you've made here that has effectively cut you out of some sort of eight, eight of swords. But with the eight of swords, I feel like there's a maintaining of keeping main there's a level of maintaining the energies that keep you out of this closed in state. You're moving forward with your heart to allow change to happen, to bring you to a brand new reality, okay? That was just the bottom of the deck. Let's get, I wanna get into the rest of the situation now. And I will say, there is a strong level of masculine energy coming out here for you. Not only did the emperor come out, but we have three of the kings here. King of Cups, King of Wands, there's that determination and King of Swords to the Ten of Swords, okay? So what this is saying here, you guys, is with the King of Cups, there is a level of emotional maturity, emotional availability, and emotional foundation and stability, okay? And you are, especially with the Knight of Cups that we, that we just saw at the bottom of the deck, you've made a decision in terms of what truly resonates with you. What is within your heart center? What is within your heart chakra? What, it is, what is it that you know very clearly that you need to be going after or that you need to be handling or that you need to be doing that isn't necessarily an easy thing to handle. What is that for you? Well, here's the determination to get through it. The self-belief. The, I did just hear the destruction. And so there may be some destruction that's, that's taking part in this situation or that's at play in this situation. But this is this King of Wands is representing the level of self-confidence, uh, self-assurity to get yourself through it, to not listen to the naysayers, to not allow anything to sway you off of what is the true, what is really resonating with you, what it is you really want, followed by the King of Swords, clear and, and clear, honest and open. OK, no, f no fluff, no frou-frou, no bullshit, none of that. Like, don't bring that at me. 
Okay, that's what this is energy. That's what the three, these three kings are saying. It's the emotional stability. It's the spiritual, creative, self-awareness ability. It's the clear and open mind. Seeing something as it truly is. No fluff, no frou-frou, no extra, no, no, no embellishment, nothing. Like clear, down to the point, down to the focus. What is the truth here? Because there is an intention here of maintaining an ending of a very strong and maybe even toxic situation. I did hear that, okay? Those are, those are the cards that have fallen face up, those four cards. You have four more cards that have fallen face down, all right? Let's see what those are. Interesting. You have the Fool in Reverse. You have the Page of Swords, you have the Two of Wands, and you have the High Priestess. What I just heard is that the Leap of Faith has chosen, has been chosen, excuse me. The Fool and the Two of Wands. And either you've chosen the, this, you, what, if, what this could literally represent is the fact that you've chosen to move in a direction and have effectively taken that leap. And then you have the Page of Swords to the High Priestess. The High Priestess in this situation is representing the unknown of the universe, the mystery, the creative potential even, you could say. And then you have that with the Page of Swords. Seeking. And what this is feeling like, you guys, with the Page of Swords and the High Priestess, what this is feeling like is you kind of like keeping an eye out. I don't, I really don't feel like you're questioning the high priestess or the energies that the high priestess represents. I feel like you're questioning everything that comes into play, regardless of the circumstances, regardless of who it is they're, who it is it's coming from or who it is that's bringing whatever up to you, whatnot, whatever, like that doesn't matter. It feels like it, it literally feels like you're taking everything that's coming at you at the external from the external right now and bouncing it off the energies of the high priestess. In the past, I've seen this, the high priestess and the page of swords as like you being that, 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 that child or that teenager or that stubborn adolescent energy that's just questioning everything. Well, why? Why? Why, mommy? Why, daddy? Why? And they give you the answer and then you say, but why? You know, like, like, one of that, like one of those situations. But that's not what I feel here. Because you have effectively made your choice and taken a leap of faith in a new direction. And it feels very strongly that you are quite solid in the decision that you've made. Now, check it out. Remember, in the, in the pre-shuffle, well, not in the pre-shuffle, but right before I started pulling energies, you had the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. So effectively, there's all four kings showing up in this reading. Plus, as I was pulling at the bottom of the deck, you had the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords. So your, your passion, your drive, your self-confidence, your self-belief is strong. Your clear mind, your, your, your clear, analytical, no bullshit Mindset is very strong, but yet there is a st there's still a level of compassion, okay? But it's more than just compassion. It's emotional stability. It's emotional awareness. It's emotional strength. So just because the King of Cups here is representing a little bit more of a mushy gushy emotional side, don't get me don't get it twisted. The King of Cups doesn't play either. Okay, because he has the emotional stability to say what needs to be said, regardless as to how someone else may take it, how someone else may feel about it. That's not going to affect his emotional stability. That's not going to affect his emotional awareness. He is very quiet. He's very keenly aware that there, someone else's emotional reality is not his responsibility. That doesn't mean he's going to go. Now, when he's positively aspected, that doesn't mean he's going to go around hurting people on purpose. That's the King of Cups in reverse. That's the King. That's a, the King of Cups in reverse is an energy that goes around manipulating people for his own emotional stability or his own emotional gain or fulfillment. Not the King of Cups upright. The King of Cups upright is very keenly aware of the emotions of others and has every intention of preserving that to the, to the, to the extent that he is able to do so. 
okay? But he's not going to sugarcoat things. He's going to be very honest with you. He's going to lay it all out there. He's going to be real about it. Because he also understands from an emotional point of view that the best thing to do is to be honest with someone, okay? So don't get it twisted. He might be the most compassionate of, of the other two kings that are here, even the king of pentacles. King of pentacles mm, is less compassionate than the queen of pentacles, but we don't have to talk about that right now. He's more compassionate, but he's not going to play. Okay? He's not playing. None of these kings are playing, okay? There is a serious... There is a serious element or a serious energy here, you guys, of really maintaining the end of a tough cycle, of a difficult cycle. Something that you pulled yourself out of tooth and fucking nail, man. Like you, you're, I mean, like you may, you might as well have wore your fingers down to the very bone with how hard you pulled yourself out of this. So with this high priestess and page of swords energy, it does not feel like you're fighting against the high priestess or you're questioning the energies that the high priestess represents. It feels like you are working very much in tandem with them and questioning everything else externally that comes, that you come into to contact with, with this high priestess, this higher awareness, universal energy, spiritual energies behind you at your back and you're questioning everything that comes up around you and bouncing it off of that high priestess energy yeah okay do we want to clarify or do we want to pull more they're saying clarify very clearly okay okay so then let's move to some clarity here that's right. I don't need to pull at the I don't need to pull another one because I read all, like damn near half the bottom of the deck. Okay, that's fine. All right. So clarity. We're gonna get into some clarification now, and I want to start with the High Priestess and the Page of Swords. And my question here for you is, what are you up against? For some of you, you are seeking with this Page of Swords and High Priestess. You have this universal energy, this belief and this working in tandem with the universe, you have that solid within you. And it feels like for some of you, you're looking for the next opportunity or you're looking for the next step or you're just, for some of you, even this page of swords energy is really coming to a deeper or a, a better understanding of what's truly around you now that you have this high priestess awareness. Mm. So you're in your King of Swords energy, thinking very clearly and, and with intentions and energies of seeing things as they truly are. And then in terms of this Page of Swords energy with the High Priestess, you're here as the scout, picking things apart uh, and getting as much information as you can, getting as much wisdom as not, and knowledge and data and, 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 um, and statistics, if that applies, as you can, okay? And then again, still bouncing off this high priestess awareness that is uh, thriving, ooh, thriving within you, okay? Fucking right. Three shuffles here. One. Two. And three, yeah. The strongest thing that I feel between the Page of Swords and the High, the High Priestess here for you guys is the fact that you're working in tandem with your higher self, with your soul, with the universe, with higher awareness, okay? Uh... <laughs> okay, so I was just feeling like I wanted to look at the bottom of the deck again. And it was the Nine of Swords. And I was like, okay, all right. But then I was like, let me look a little deeper. King of Swords. Okay, so any sort of fears or, yeah, to the world. Okay, you guys, there is a strong energy and the six of wands. Look at that. Hold on a second. And the sun. You better fucking stop. Ew, get out of here with the, ew, with the chariot. Ew, get out of here with your alignment. Ugh, I can't stand you. <laughs> but, like, there really is a very strong energy within the collective right now of seeing the illusions for what they truly are. And not letting it stop you, not letting it stop you from completing this process, not letting it stop you from having your victory, not letting it stop you from feeling fucking good. Okay, fine. All right, all right, cute. Now, let's get to some official clarification. 
of the Page of Swords with the High Priestess. Yes? All right. What is the, high, the Page of Swords and the High Priestess for the collective? Please, Spirit, some clarity on this for us. Thank you so much. Yes. Dude. Yes, dude. Look, and, and a lot of your aggression is really baselined, is really the foundation of any sort of aggressive energy that you are feeling is straight up nothing but passion, okay? You have the Nine of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and the Seven of Wands, okay? You're moving forward. Regardless, nine of wands, I'm sorry, knight of wands and nine of wands. You are moving forward regardless, okay? And anybody that gets in your way is probably going to face having a beat down. Seven of wands. And it's not even like you're trying to fight anybody. It does kind of, well. Okay. It's not like you're trying to fight anybody even though there are some fairly aggressive energies in the air. But that doesn't mean that you're going to back down when, if, 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 if some sort of like battle is necessary. Seven of Wands. I mean, look at that. And again, the Seven of Wands, I believe the Seven of Wands came out yesterday, in which I said, look at this guy, this blonde dude right over here. Do you see the shock on his face? And I said this, even I said this in that last reading, it, there may come a moment where somebody's coming at you out of pocket, six, six ways sideways, like with some real shit. And you're just like, and just like the passion and the drive and the, the, the focus in ending past unhar disharmonic, disharmonic cycles is so strong within you right now. Like you just, you come out, you come out the gate swinging. Because it's like, how, how dare you bring this shit to me now? Like what, are you kidding me? Now, at the bottom of the deck, you do have the Five of Swords, okay? That's an aggressive energy, too. And that could be someone maybe looking for a fight. But I don't think that's you. I don't think you're looking for a fight. I think you're defending yourself from this type of energy, the Five of Swords, which is coming from a place of lack mentality, the Five of Pentacles. You are here as the Knight of Cups moving forward with justice in your heart. Knight of Cups, justice. You moving forward with your heart is going, is bringing justice into your life, has been bringing justice into your life throughout this whole slew of readings I've been doing this week, right? You're not willing to tango any longer. Four of Cups. You would much rather work on yourself or work on your situation and move forward from it to continue on your path, okay? There's one last card that has come out here. It has fallen face down. I need more coffee. It's death. The transformation is underway. The transformation is actually well underway. And that's why you may be getting aggressive. That's why you may be getting frustrated because it's like, no, I told you, we ain't doing this shit no more. So don't come at me that way. Don't come at me that way. Because it's not going to end well for you. Don't poke the bear. Don't poke the bull. Don't come up in here waving a red flag in front of the bull and not expect to charge. Be charged on. Like, are you, like... Let's, um... Okay, I, I do want to clarify the Two of Wands and the Fool here, but I also, let's talk about the Ten of Swords for a, for, a, for a hot second. Yeah, what's this Ten of Swords for the Collective, please, Spirit? What's this Ten of Swords? Mm. Yeah. Wait, hold on, did something... Y'all, you see that? You see that? Ten of Swords is is clarified by the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck again. 
this energy is not playing. We're not playing any longer. Okay? So the, you, there, there, is, there is strong determination to keep building. Two cards have come out face up. Strength and the Eight of Pentacles. Determination. Continuing to move forward. Continuing to craft. Continuing to build. Continuing to do that day to day, moment by moment, blood, sweat, and tears. Roll up your, your, freaking, your freaking sleeves, man. Roll up your pant legs if you need to and get down and dirty and do this work. I don't care what my ego has to say about it. I don't care if I'm frustrated. I don't care if I don't feel like it right now. I'm doing this shit. And ain't nobody going to stop me. And this is a really strong place for you to be because you're not coming out from a place of ego. You're coming from a place of having your ego well checked. Because it feels like it was your ego in the past that kept you from doing this work. But you are so clear on all of the illusions. So clear. So clear on your emotional reality and what it is you truly want in your life. So clear on answering this call by judgment and taking your leap of faith and creating what it is that you want to create in the long run. So clear. Okay? Damn, you guys. There are two more cards left. Yeah. Absolutely. So the Ten of Swords is being clarified by the King of Swords, which is at the bottom of the deck. Also, the Eight of Pentacles and Strength, that's what's on the surface. That's what people are seeing as you are moving forward here. What's underneath the surface, y'all, is stability and victory. The Four of Wands and the Six of Wands. So much passion that is being translated in some situations into aggressiveness. And I'm sure you can see it in me right now, right? We ain't playing, y'all. Stability, inner stability, inner foundation, and personal victory. Even if the people around you and there may be, in some cases, you guys, there may be some people that are looking at you in this Six of Wands energy who, energy, thinking, who the fuck do, this, do they think they are? Let me knock them down a peg. Let me, let me knock them off their high horse. And so that karma is only going to come back to bite you in the ass because whomever it is you're trying to knock off your high horse right now has every right to be on that high horse because they've done the work to get themselves there. I need to be careful what I say right now because I'm gonna get I'm gonna get so clear and cutthroat that people are not gonna like it. And it's not like I'm censoring myself to because people aren't gonna like it. Y'all know me. If you've been following me long enough, you know I don't play that game. Never have and never will. But I also don't wanna throw a bunch of negative energy out there and I don't wanna be disrespectful. <laughs> up y'all let's talk about the two of wands and the fool in reverse what is the two of wands and the fool in reverse for the collective please here take this one okay what is the two of wands and the fool both in reverse for the collective that's you know okay justice dude like justice Balance, karma, balancing the scales, okay? The emperor in reverse with the three of cups, upright. The emperor says, no. I'm not following along any longer. I'm not doing what you want me to do just because you want it. No. It doesn't have to be any worse than that. It's, this can remain civil. But the emperor says no. That is not within my highest good. That is not bringing justice into my life. That is not what my heart wants. I am, the emperor says no to this three of cups, hive mind, maybe some sort of collective or family energy or whatnot or friend group energy, whatever. The emperor says no, because I am bringing justice into my life in terms of the lack mentality, the codependency, 
the fighting, the lose-lose situations. I'm picking my battles and choosing to sacrifice something to, and move away from that in terms of greater self-mastery. So quite frankly, my dear, the answer is absolutely not. I've made my decision. I've made, I've taken my leap of faith. And unfortunately for you, my leap of faith or my direction is moving, taking me away from this, says the emperor. So no, I'm not coming back. No, we're not starting over. No, I'm not going to rethink this. No, I'm not going to choose again. I've chosen already. And the answer is no. Bing! Anything else? Yes, they're saying the King of Cups. All right. All right, so let's talk about the King of Cups then. What's the King of Cups for the collective, please, Spirit? Okay. Page of Cups. So this is you being connected to your emotional reality, also connected to your inner child, and there's definitely a sense of fatherly protective energy coming through from the King of Cups in terms of your inner child energies, okay? And your passion, your drive, your level of, um, <laughs> your level of uh, emotional awareness and wish fulfillment and the dreamer energy. There is definitely a level of preserving your dream, saying, taking very, taking very seriously what your inner child or your inner sense of innocence wants, desires, and needs, and protecting that, preserving that, moving forward with that. Okay, I'm definitely seeing a father and child energy here, but this is personal parenting, right? What's come out to clarify the King of Cups is the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so clear and steady movement forward, step by step, moment by moment, instance by instance, however you want to describe it, to the Nine of Pentacles, sovereignty, okay, self-sufficiency, self being able to stand on your own, being able to think for yourself, being able to make decisions for yourself, but then also the rewards that come through from following through with that. Finally, the queen of pentacles, self-worth, knowing what it is that you bring to the table, knowing what it is that you have to offer, knowing what it is that you have to provide, and being willing to be reciprocal, but not, in, not reciprocal in situations that don't give back or don't follow their end of the bargain. Keep up with their end of the bargain. That's what the King of Cups is preserving here. A sense of self-worth, autonomy, individuality, self-sufficiency, uh, uh, um, um, sovereignty, and consistently following through with that. <laughs> All right. We're 42 minutes into this session. Let's close it out. And let's get some oracle guidance. Yeah? Where do we... Sacred Destiny. Okay. Closing oracle guidance is coming from the Sacred Destiny deck. Five shuffles. One. Two, three, four, and five. All right, kids, closing oracle gui guidance for this reading for today's message. diddly do. New beginnings. Okay. The sacred landscape wants you to know that your life is expanding in profound and wondrous ways. New experiences and ideas are emerging. Vitality and wide open opportunities are at hand. Seize the day. This is a perfect time to begin that new project or give birth to an emerging, emerging idea. 
Timing is everything, and the time is now. Anything and everything is possible. Good fortune awaits you. The rising sun is the ultimate symbol of the yang principle, expanding power and activity. I'm sorry, of the yang principle. Let me say that again. The rising sun is the ultimate symbol of the yang principle, expanding power and activity. You are radiant and luminous. There is a glow within you that can be felt by all. <sighs> okay, guys, there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so freaking much. I hope you have a fantastic weekend, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee on Monday morning. Yeah? Excellent. Take care. Mwah! Bye. Ha <laughs> ha